headlines. Thousands flee Sudan as fighting between rival military factions shows no signs of abating. Criminal charges are dropped against the actor Alec Baldwin over a fatal movie set shooting. In the UK, the Deputy Prime Minister's political future is in the balance as the Prime Minister has handed a report on bullying allegations involving Dominic Raab. Ignition. Two. One. And the most powerful space rocket ever built takes off but explodes minutes later. The U.S. Treasury Secretary calls for a constructive economic relationship with China. And in Yemen, at least 78 people have been killed in a crash at a school in the rebel-held capital Sana'a during a charity event for Ramadan. Reports say the guards fired shots, causing people to panic and rush for the exit. BuzzFeed has announced it's closing down its new site and cutting 15% of its workforce. The company's chief executive, Jonah Perelli, or Perretti rather, blamed the decision on financial challenges, a slowdown in digital advertising and the coronavirus pandemic. He said the firm would concentrate its news output on the HuffPost website, which it took over in 2021. Blue ticks for verified Twitter users have finally started to be removed from accounts that don't pay for the site's premium subscription service. Elon Musk went ahead with the plan late yesterday, despite concerns it would lead to a rise in misinformation. Cristiano Ronaldo, Oprah Winfrey and Pope Francis are among the notable figures who have lost that famous tip. Away from the politics, one of the most read articles on the BBC News website today reports on Twitter's blue tick purge. It says the Pope, Beyonce and Anton Deck are among hundreds of thousands losing their verification. The blue tick was initially a way of protecting well-known people from impersonation, but it's now becoming something that anyone can pay for. I'm just going to check to see if I've lost my blue tick, Charlie. Well, while you're doing that, let me tell you about... Uh, I didn't know about this. Oh, uh, I have. It's gone. What? I'm no longer official. What does that you mean? You have no idea if I am who I say I am. Is that right? Yeah. But just trust me. So what's changed? Morning. Nothing tangibly. really. Nothing really has tangibly changed. But people may not, you know, if they if they go looking for me, they may go, is that the real Rachel Burton? <laughs> okay. Well, we all think that all the time. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, that's why you have to show ID when you come in the building. Yeah. It's a similar principle, basically.